Hello, so this bit of news came as a surprise to me. EA Access from the Xbox One is now launching on PC as Origin Access. So let's take a look at what you actually get. So the blurb for this is that Origin Access is an all-you-can-play membership service for PC gamers. Membership unlocks the Vault, a growing collection of great PC games you can download and play as much as you want. Plus, members can play upcoming EA games before they are released for a limited time and score an automatic 10% discount on full games, pre-orders, expansions, FIFA points and more. So a few points to clarify in that. It's a subscription service. You have to pay monthly for it. In the UK, it's £3.99. In the US, it's $4.99. So that's the same price effectively as EA Access on the Xbox One. Origin Access is only available on the PC. Vault games and Play First trials cannot be played on a Mac. And initially, it's launching in US, Canada, UK and Germany. Don't know what the German price is. I think the Canada price is $4.99 like American price, but I could be wrong on that. So the first feature to look at is the Vault. This is the collection of games you get when you pay your subscription that you can just download and play whenever you want. It does vary from country to country. I'm not sure exactly what the changes are. It's licensing agreements, but what I'm going to show you is the UK list. So the games available are Battlefield Hardline Digital Deluxe, Battlefield 4 Digital Deluxe, Battlefield 3 Standard Version, SimCity, FIFA 15, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, Dragon Age Inquisition Digital Deluxe, Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Origins The Ultimate Edition, Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, The Sims Starter Pack and This War of Mine. Now that's an interesting one because it's not an EA game. This War of Mine is published by 11-Bit Studios, so it would seem that any publisher that sells through Origin that wants to put games into the vault can do so. So the second feature of Origin Access is Play First Trials. So basically this is early access. You get a week or two weeks access to a game before it's actually launched. And these play first trials is why every YouTuber is going to have to get Origin Access. Because if you're a channel that covers Need for Speed or Battlefield or Dragon Age and everybody else gets to cover it two weeks or a week before you do because you don't have Origin Access, well, you're going to lose views. The first title for this is Unravel and that's going to be quickly followed by Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and that's based on the fact that it's in the play first trials banner. And now we get to the interesting part. 10% discount on anything you buy through Origin. So that's games and DLCs and third party titles. But the interesting thing that this reminded me of is that none of the games that you get on the vault are going to have DLCs. It's going to be the plain version of the game. Can you buy DLCs for games that are available through the vault? There's a digital deluxe version of Battlefield 4, which is going to get you the basic game and the China Rising DLC. But will you be able to buy the other DLCs for Battlefield 4 to go with it? So could you just go out and buy premium in a sale, use Battlefield 4 from the vault, but have premium in your normal account? With more and more games having DLC, it's going to be quite important as to whether you can add DLC to these vault games. I did have a quick look through the FAQs to see if you could actually buy DLCs but it didn't mention it anywhere. One thing that is interesting about this is that it's not a yearly subscription, it's a monthly subscription that you can cancel at any time. So if a game you want to play arrives in the vault you can just subscribe, play it and then cancel your subscription. Or if there's a game you want to buy on Origin that costs say £40 or more then you might as well subscribe, save the 10% and essentially get Origin Access for free. Now I'm going to be signing up to this for at least the first month. I never played Dragon Age Inquisition and I haven't played this War of Mine. So for £3.99 I get to play both of those, give it a try. I can also use Dragon Age to see how the DLC buying works or if it works at all. And I'll let you know what it's actually like. So I'll do the update video in a couple of weeks and Thanks for watching.